Hi friends, thanks for watching. I am back with another spring clean with me to give you tons of cleaning motivation today. Don't forget to hit the like button if you enjoy this video, subscribe to my channel if you're new, and let me know in the comments what you're doing while you watch. Let's get cleaning. So I'm starting out today in my bedroom, taking all the sheets off my bed and getting them ready to throw in the washing machine. I always say this in my cleaning videos, but start with laundry first. That way, by the time you're done with your cleaning routine, usually the laundry is ready to be turned over or folded and put away. I'm moving on to the kitchen and you'll notice in this video I'm a little all over the place. I tend to clean that way, I try and do things efficiently and sometimes that means bouncing from room to room. I'm sure you guys can relate. Okay, so I have to know, what is more satisfying to you, a super shiny clean sink or carpet lines with the vacuum? Let me know in the comments. These gloves I'm using to clean with are the best invention ever. They have silicone scrubbies on them so I can use my hand to wipe out the sink, bathtub, really anything. I've also heard you can use these on pets to brush out their hair. I'll leave a few links below if you are interested in checking them out. Next, I am moving on to cleaning my glass stove top here. I am just using the stove top cleaner and a sponge, and then I will go back in with a multi-surface spray and make sure that I get the rest of the oven clean. This bar cart was in need of some serious attention. I used a microfiber cloth and my multi-surface cleaner to wipe down each shelf and the shelf liners. I will link these shelf liners down below. They come in a variety of sizes and color options and they are a great choice if you have wire shelves like me. I've actually been thinking of turning this bar cart into a coffee bar cart, but I'm so torn. I really love the way both of them look. So let me know in the comments, do you guys prefer a bar cart or a coffee cart? And do you already have one in your home?
after everything was clean, I did a little rearranging and I am so happy with how this turned out. Everything has a much more organized place now. I am turning over the laundry and then we are gonna head back into the kitchen and finish up in there. So this is the second or third time that I have used this product. This is the Method Steel for Real Cleaner. And I don't know if you guys can notice in this video, but it really works on your stainless steel appliances. If you don't believe me, rewind and watch that again. This is another great method product to use. This is the Wood for Good cleaner and it is in the almond scent, so what's not to love? I'm putting the chairs on top of my table like this because I have a robot vacuum. You guys can see it there on the floor. I find that when I move the chairs up like this, then he does a much better job of getting the floors clean. If you guys don't have a robot vacuum, I would highly invest in one, especially if you have laminate, wood, or any kind of hard floors like I do. It really keeps the daily cleaning to a minimum. Now I am moving on to the bathroom. On an everyday basis, I usually just use a multi-surface spray to wipe down these countertops and clean out the sink, but usually once a week I have to get out the soft scrub and a sponge and really give it a good thorough cleaning. I find that because this is the most used bathroom in my house, then it gets dirty the fastest. Then we are going to move on to mirrors and toilets next. comments saying that it's kind of strange that I don't wear gloves when I clean my bathroom or clean my toilet. So I'm very curious. Comment below if you guys use gloves when you clean or not. I just find that wearing gloves makes it a lot harder to clean and they kind of get in my way, but I also understand that using gloves might be really important to keep the bacteria um, like away from you and stuff, but I always wash my hands after I clean. So I guess really to each their own. Let me know what you do in the comments.
are moving on to dusting and wiping down the baseboards. I'm just using a multi-surface spray and a microfiber here, and I have said it once and I will say it again, I will never buy glass furniture again just because it is so impossible to keep clean. I feel like I dust things down, wipe it down, walk away from it, and I come back 10 minutes later and there's dust all over it again. So if you have glass furniture in your house, I'm sure you can totally relate. Wiping down baseboards is just one of those things you have to add to your spring cleaning checklist if you have one, because it is something that I almost never remember to do, but then when you get down on the floor or you get close to them, you realize just how dirty they are. And I know for me, all of my trim is freshly painted white, and so it shows every speck of dust. This was long overdue. Are listening and cleaning along with me and not watching we are back upstairs and remaking my bed there is nothing better than at the end of a long day where you have spent time cleaning to get into a bed with freshly washed sheets though one of my least favorite tasks to do is making a bed by myself I keep looking out the window in this clip because my boyfriend was outside on this day and he was raking all the leaves in the yard and I just found it so funny to like every time I looked out the window he was just out there like working so hard and sweating so much so it was definitely one of those I was cleaning inside he was cleaning outside kind of days. The last thing that we are tackling in today's video is vacuuming and this was so long overdue. I have a bunch of dust and grit on my carpet from when we installed the hardware and stuff on my be uh, bedroom doors and I don't know if you guys noticed in any of my previous cleaning videos that I did not have a door to my bedroom. In fact, I didn't have doors on any of the rooms in the upstairs of my house because I've been working on painting them and putting on all brand new hardware and if you guys were interested in those kinds of videos, home improvements and home renovations, I have a series here on my channel where I have been updating you guys on some of my home renovations that I've been doing. So if you are interested in that, then you should definitely go and check that out. I will have some more videos coming out soon, but thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you enjoyed it, please don't forget to hit the like button. So I know to keep making more of these kinds of videos, please subscribe to my channel. If you are new, I would love to have you join my internet family and I will see you guys again really soon in a brand new video. Bye guys.